The Crystal Ball sees all. Hello, and welcome to Let's Replay Mystery Case Files Madame Fate. This is my favorite of the classic games, and my favorite of the whole MCF series. And... I knew you would it, come. Although it is my favorite, I do feel like it's the least polished out of any of the games. For example, just going here, I've done one playthrough on this account. And okay, this is my total time. But, when I go through and replay the game, my time doesn't reset. So I'll end up with, like, a time of four hours something, five hours something. A really weird thing. And another thing that I just noticed while trying to record this is... The volume sliders keep on increasing, which is really annoying when you're trying to have a good balance of game audio and my talking audio. But anyway, let's click on the cat, which we learn in the sequel to be Isis, and let's play. You really don't need extended time on this game, because Detective Mode gives you more than enough time bonuses. Greetings, Master Detective, and welcome to my carnival. You shall know me as Madame Fate. I have observed your arrival within the All-Seeing Ball. Many come from near and far to have their puzzling fortunes revealed by me. The grim fate I witnessed today, however was that of my very own. The ball has foretold my death at the stroke of midnight this very day. By what means I do not know. Perhaps your calling is an omen of hope. Perhaps you are here to help reverse my tragic destiny. I've grown increasingly distrustful of my miserable lackeys here at the carnival, and I'm certain the lot of them would like to see me perish. With your assistance, I might be able to identify my killer by unlocking the future and inspecting the culprit's whereabouts at midnight. You must bring me clues associated with each carnival worker. If you obtain enough evidence, the crystal ball will be more inclined to share its secrets. Be warned, capturing a glimpse of the future can prove quite puzzling. You must work quickly. Bring me the items I request to reverse my fortune. If you complete this task, I promise to answer your most haunting questions by looking into your own future. Now go and find the soul who seeks to kill Madame Fate. All right. And I definitely... It at least feels to me that like, this game was rushed more than any of the other ones of the classic games and could have used another few months or so of development to really iron out stuff and add more stuff. Because, for example, there's only 15 levels in this game when both Prime Suspects and Ravenhurst had 20. Magician. So they kind of cut back. And because this is a re replay, I've unlocked all the extra bonus areas you get for collecting all the morphing objects. Which is a really cool feature that I love that you unlock more scenes just from collecting items. And anyway, how the bonus Kitty Carnival Tunnel of Love and Outhouse scenes work is they replace an existing scene in a level. So, for example, in this level, if you don't have the outhouse unlocked, you would visit the bumper cars right now. 
can feel the cold chill of impending evil. And now I really enjoy the humor found in this game, like how in the outhouse there's a clowns and ammo magazine, because that's apparently a thing in the MCF universe. There's also Lucy the Bearded Beauty by a beach like it's a swimsuit calendar or something. There's an emergency button for in case you really have a problem and all employees are required to wipe. Funny little parody of all employees required to wash their hands. And then also, someone wrote Loser on the Amazing Larry's poster. And then, if you look closely on here, you can see that it says, For a good time, call Lance. So, apparently he's given his number for all the female carnies. Or the male carnies. Whatever floats his boat. It's a nice reward just in and of itself having a more variety of scenes to explore when you play, but it's also a good reward because it gives you a time bonus for every item you find in one of these unlockable scenes. But right now I have a net profit of time, even though I'm only on detective mode. And this is a little picture of the guy from the puppet show scene but what's weird is it's very pixelated and kinda hard to make out but there's like six characters here and then four here and then five here so I think it says puppet show today but they reversed the image for some reason so it's backwards I think, though, probably the best improvement they made on this game is letting you see, click on multiple items at once, you don't have to wait for anyone else. Well, not anyone else, like the item t to finish and go in and be collected before you go to the next one. I also really like the concept of having hidden object scenes within hidden object scenes. Though as you can see, a glitch with it is if you go leave and then come back any like of the interactable puzzles or items will reset to before they were collected. A great evil approaches. And now a cool little reference is this signature, if you look at it, it's Emma Ravenhurst's signature from 
Ravenhurst. So that's a cute little connection to that game. It's probably just because they didn't have another like signature image to use. But it could also be an intentional reference given the game's ending. And now... I also really enjoy the variety they have in word puzzles and the normal like crystal ball puzzles. But, like, the, there's quite a lot of variety in the word puzzles to the point where chances are you aren't going to remember the solutions. But, it's very inconsistent, like, some of them can be really easy, and some of them could be really hard. Like, I am stumped on this one. Most of the time, a good strategy is just to switch up vowels and consonants from a word that works, and chances are you'll make another word. I could have sworn feel was F-E-E-L. What's that feel? I don't know. You can learn new four-letter words here. I can't believe it took me that long to get flat. And now, what I... I really enjoy the variety of having like these scenes where you need to collect a bunch of a certain type of object. <laughs> but the problem is like when I go so fast and then it really bothers me because I can like go super fast and get like 99% of the items, but then there's like one or two left that really stumps me. And also like you collect so many things but it only counts for two clues. And they're fun and add variety but it's probably, if you want to go quicker, it's better probably to just skip one of the carny scenes, because you only need to get all but two. But if you get all but one item and you can't find it, then I guess you'd have to do the carny scene then. I like also these blocks spell HTML. That's funny. Yes, excellent work. With these items, the ball may be used to see if the suspect will be a threat at the stroke of 12. Gaze upon the window of yet to be. Unfasten the window to the puzzling future. <laughs> Look sharp and lift the dark veil of the hours to come. I 
I gotta say, I really prefer the style of super puzzles that was found in Ravenhurst compared to the ones found here and in almost all of the other um, MCF games because instead of being like Rube Goldberg type things they're mostly just centered on a central puzzle and that's it now there is some variety like here there's two different things to do <laughs> the crystal ball shall be my sight it appears the amazing idiot will find himself lacking limbs and a job come the stroke of 12 i love you the bunny covering his eyes <laughs> There are a lot of puns here, so we should just move on. Hurry and investigate all my dubious underlings. I think the bunny covering its eyes is Magician. pretty cute and stuff. It took me a while to discover that. Like, see it in the image. But anyway, that's Spirited gonna do lady. it for this first part. So like and subscribe if you want. And I'll see you next time when we investigate Lucy the Bearded Beauty.